But uh, yeah, man. All right, man. So look, you know, you getting married soon. You say what's to the up? Camera. Wait, Actually, you know what? Bye. Before you leave, before you leave, sit down real quick. Sit down right here in the middle. Come on, PSA, yes, real quick. Sir. PSA. Public service. Okay. So, when's your wedding day? July twenty third. All right, July twenty third. July twenty third. Okay, July twenty third is a two something Thursday. like that. Thursday. Okay, Thursday. Real quick for all the guys out there in the streets still in the streets you know what i mean like still in the streets still struggling out here why should they tell no for real speak on this for real because you have a good point of view why should they be looking into maybe you know what this lifestyle in the streets ain't for me you know guys contemplate that in their life all the time you know what i mean they don't want to be out here in the streets but the streets just got them yeah they got them on lock Mm -hmm. what is your advice or what would you say to those guys as to how the grass is greener on the other side you know, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, being in a in a relationship as serious as, as I'm in right now, man, it's like now, like it, even if I pop in like this, it's like I I realize how important like you know these times are, like you know with the boys and all that stuff. But um, it's it's um it's going back home, and I guess having a peace of mind. You know, when I talk to him, I have had a long day at work or something like that, stress. Like you know, she's she's got my back, man. So you know, forget about um the physical aspect of it if you have somebody that um first of all can be financially intelligent you know if both of you guys can you know be financially intelligent very important um i'll tell you what definitely hema has helped me be a little more like humble with like how i spend my money so um i mean that's it man everything's just been falling in the right place and we've been trying to learn from like, you know, pastors and um, leaders who have been in relationship forever. It's not going to be perfect. And I know it's not going to be perfect. That's why we need, um, you, you know, I need you. I need I need Chris, you know, so we can all still some, spend some time together because that's what life is about, you know. But I think if um, I think a big thing that I've been able to do is just a little bit of everything, you know, a little bit of spending time with the guys, you know, obviously a lot spending time with Hema, you know, really getting to know her, like, you know, us getting to know our ugly side and all that stuff before moving in with each other. And um, finan- finances is number one, bro. If you're with a girl or if you're with a guy that likes to spend a lot of money, it's that can be that, that can bring so much detriment and problems to the relationship. You know, um, spending money, using a lot of credit and all that stuff. You In a relationship, it's first um, the biggest problem in relationships are. What's it called? It's uh, financial un- being unfaithful, or unfaithful to each other. Okay. And yeah, financial, financial. Is, is number two. So, um, you know, I definitely wouldn't force somebody like you. You know, you have a you're you're very financially set. You're a smart guy. But for now, you want to be single. That's that's mm-hmm. your life, you know, and I, I would never force it. On so anybody. so and not to cut you off, but what is and this goes for both you guys. If both you guys are like in serious relationships. What is the <laughs> only on Tuesdays? Okay, well, this is a great day, then, huh? Okay, so then, so what is though? Like, why is your side or your relationship better than, let's say, being out here in these streets? For example, I'm not here in the streets no more, but I'm just, when I was, <laughs> but I'm just, you, you get what I'm saying though? Like, you mean what like messing around? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, like, like, why is it better to be with one girl and committed to this one girl instead of like trying to like just mess around with, I guess, multiple girls, which is what a lot of guys our age do, right? Like, why? And just for both of you guys, I want you both of you guys to answer. It's gonna be for the younger people and the older, or whoever's watching, right? Why is your situation better than the other, or why do you feel like it's better, like for you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's all gonna be personal, anyways. Um, well, definitely when you find somebody, let's say, you know, if somebody, if you compare having somebody that's right for you versus just being single, I think it's just like where you see yourself in the next 10 years and bro, you know, we're, we don't know how long we're going to live, you know, um, but the truth is, is if in 10 years, man, you, you'll probably rather be with somebody, you know, we're humans and actually I've seen that humans need to have. Uh, that 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 love man even if the it's connection. not from a partner even if it's not in a, in a girlfriend you have to have um so i just suggest people just find someone that you can really love it can be your best friend it can be your girlfriend it don't matter but love is is really important bro like gotcha. we as humans we need this time we need time with each other we need time to talk time to laugh time to smile that is what's going to make you live longer so if we're just talking about just living longer uh, uh uh but a happy life as well trying to avoid depression you know depression is something that can affect um people at any age mm-hmm. but if you um can surround yourself with people that are like you 
um, that aren't poisonous. You know, it, it don't matter if it's your girlfriend or your best friend. That's that's what you need. So that's why I'm in a relationship with Hema because she's. I truly believe she's the one for me. Now, is she the only one in the world for me? Am I the only one in the world for her? No, but you know, we just happen to. Oh, you might be like the same things. We just happen to. Um, be kind of like-minded and you know we're we're little by little we're trying to bring each other up so gotcha that that's that's why i'm with her and that's why i think it's better to be in a relationship than it is to be single or a loner because that is poisonous yeah you know, being i'll tell you what you know um, i agree I, I, here, I agree with you one of these guys <clears throat> here you remember and i don't want to say this publicly or anything and put them out there but you remember this guy carlos they used to live um over here Oh yeah, 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 okay. I'd be seeing him just like walk outside by himself, and you know he's he's with a hoodie, and it's like, yeah, yeah. bro, that's that's poisonous. You know? Gotcha. That, 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 well, that's what leads to depression. That's what yeah. leads to somebody uh, want to wanting to even hurt somebody. I agree. Or, I agree with that a hundred percent. I think that being alone, like when you're alone mm -hmm. too much, it's mm -hmm. like I hate me personally. I hate being alone. Mm -hmm. Like I like I enjoy and I love being with my friends. Mm -hmm. I hate being alone isolated shit mm -hmm. that shit starts making me feel depressed i'd be yeah. like fuck what the fuck wrong with me mm -hmm. like you know that, that that right there will have you thinking you're depressed when mm -hmm. realistically you just need some human contact yeah. again yeah. you just need some interaction yeah. so i absolutely agree with you okay that was dope man mm -hmm. appreciate you my guy i know you gotta go well, let me so, hear thing. oh yeah yeah go ahead, go ahead girls uh, Let, nah, man, i couldn't say it better uh no nah, for me it's um it's all about uh growth i think uh you know, the Bible says in Proverbs, as iron sharpens iron, so does a friend just to another friend, right? Wait, the what? The as what? iron sharpens iron. iron. And so oh, the iron, yeah, yeah, the only way you get it sharpens is through friction. Gotcha. And so there's parts of you that can't have a friction with just a friend. Yeah. Because you won't challenge me on certain areas gotcha. that somebody who's romantically involved will with me yeah. Yeah. will. Can you give uh, an example? Of yeah, like for what? example, uh, faithfulness. Okay. Gotcha. You ain't going to trip if I'm hanging out with you today and Louis tomorrow and whatever, where, where? right? Uh, or you won't challenge me on that on this idea that hey I should be with you always yeah right because yeah. development of love uh, and you know I, obviously everything I believe comes from the Bible the Bible shows us that the greatest sign of love is laying down your life mm. the only way I can lay down my life is through sacrifice and yeah. no greater sacrifice required than when you're in a relationship because mm -hmm. sometimes like mm. in the smallest things I had I gotta pick the coffee shop I don't like. Or I gotta pick, you know. So compromise. Uh, com exactly, and, and so and sometimes it's you're surrendering you, the what I want yeah. for what we want, That's even right. though what I mm. want, what we want, is not the same thing. But sometimes it's the better thing. God, you get me? Like like fatherhood is another level of sacrifice, right. but it comes as a result of of having that person. Yeah. Right. And so when I see that, I see that that's what relationship has that, like romantic one that mm -hmm. no other relationship has is that it's gonna require another level of me. And it's going to require the, the pulling out. Like, she's going to pull out the best parts and the worst parts of me yeah. for the better and for the worse. Gotcha. So that's why we're in it for the long run.